Right guys, we're not in the gym today guys. This is Operation Prank. We've got a little, uh, what we say, a mission and we've chosen to accept it. I've got the claymores. Tom's got the claymores. <laughs> this is uh, war zone, real life stuff happening. What we're going to do is we've been building up a fire, which is absolutely massive. So we'll get a quick look at the fire. So as you can see, look at the size of it. Tom, stand next to the fire. Grenade! So it's pretty, pretty big. Dad gets really annoyed when, uh, when, 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 when his kids play with fire. So basically... So uh, we're going to do it and break some rules. We're going to pretend to cut the grass with the mower to distinguish or hide the sound. He's even watching all this. No, he's not. Don't, 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 don't bring attention. We're just cutting the grass. That's all we're doing, Tom, is cutting the grass. So it's going to get extra hot spicy tonight. So we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Operation Pranked, number two. Let's go. Sitting back, enjoying the warmth, enjoying the Scottish Highlands. Hope you guys are all safe. Um, you know, I know it's not easy for you all. Oh, sugar, that's the hand. Oh no. Quick, oh, quick, run, 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 run. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Bloody, I owe me speaker in the. was a little prank, a little bit, it went a little bit wrong. We had to bribe Dad with a few bottles of whiskey, so I think we've cleared it over. Um, so I think we're good. So we just put up a wee thing on our Instagram uh, for question and answers. Excuse the dog. Um, we've been mm -hmm. saying we are going to do that for a while. So we will do it now in front of this spectacular heat behind us. So let's have a little look. I haven't looked at these yet, so bear with me. Um, Stephen Wall shaved Tom's hair off. I like that, you know what I mean? Do you want me to? No. Oh, right. No. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen. Uh, he always says no, so I have to say no. Shane Aoge. <laughs> Who's the better brother? Harry. I agree. I agree. Tom, here's one for you asking. Big Dan, training diary. You ever tried the cling film over the toilet trunk? Reckon you'd get Tom a treat for that. Don't give him any more pranks, and we are not trying that. I, I actually did do this. Tom doesn't know. Um, Simon and I were trying to prank Tom in the toilet. But that was a one time Tom never went for a jobby in the toilet. What have you got there? Put some cling film on the toilet for when Tom does a jobby. <laughs> I knew something was happening that oh, day. Right, I'm sure you did. I smelt it in my food. Owen McClarty, did you clean the hot tub? No, I didn't. But I think I will tonight because it is very cloudy. There's some floaters and there's some. Kyle JT0407. Tom, what's your favourite cheat meal? Double burger, double fries, 
Oh, Kaya, I love tomato sauce. Oh, I'm hungry, actually. That's what I'm talking about. You want to get good at stones, you want to get good at deadlifts, double fries, double burger. Ben TR Peak, are you going to take on Robert over his challenge? What's that? Is that bad? I don't know what you're on about there. Yeah. Someone else, Zero Joe Zero, what you say to over his 200 log challenge? Um, well, if Robert Oberst, you challenge me to a log, I'll take you on any day, son. You used to be good. Pick me, pick me! I remember, I wonder if Robert remembers this. The first time I competed was in Gateshead, and there was a Slater log, 150 kilos for reps. I remember Rob was, Robert was very good, and he still is very good at pressing. Um, and he actually gave me some tips. Just treat it as a, nor a normal lift. Um, I got zero, rep zero reps, so that was good advice, Robert. Thanks for that. Team over, strong and pretty. But yeah, I would love to take on Robert. And Robert will win. Another uh, defeat for you, I'm afraid, by a, Brits a British man. And by the way, Robert, I'm Scottish, not English. Just FYI. Riley V99, how do you guys eat the same things every day without wanting junk food or fast food? Well, I have donuts in my diet and I get a cheat meal every day, so. Boa! I just eat what I want. Jamie Grant, when are you planning on live streaming on Twitch? So... Hey, hey you want to beat a Call of Duty? I'm your man. So that's coming up soon, isn't it? I've just got a Xbox One on the way. Thank you, Marcus, from the Team Affinity. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you, little brother Harry, for mine. Yeah, Tom stole my one. I've got a Kill Street of 30. I've got a KD of 2.0 and a win ratio of 30. So we so, will be, hopefully this weekend, hopefully hopefully soon, in the next few days. By the time this video so comes I'll be out. I'm sweating it with my sweatbands on. What made you guys get into strong man? Basically, wanting to be strong. The big ball things. That was it. Nathan Petch, one, who's the king of jobbies? I think Mr. Tom Stoltman might king be. Of I'm the king of a lot of things, but that's what I'm most proud of. The uh, bigger the jobby, the bigger the... Money. Sam Cohen's 96. Do you actually play golf? Well, Sam, as a matter of fact, we do. We did. I used to be better than Luke. I had a handicap of five, he had a handicap of eight. Yep. I par three every hole. And now Tom still has a handicap of eight mentally. <laughs> but I'm still the king of the stones. Good. And Scotland Strollers, man. Cumbrian, Cumbria strength coach. How many years have you been training? Jim and Strongman to be as big as you are. Love from Cumbria. Six years. Ten years. Yeah, I'm seven. Sorry, 11, 11 Started years, at yeah. 17, now I'm 25. So I started from the bottom, now I'm here. Right, oh, there he is now. We're here in a garden with a fire behind us. We've made it officially. Yeah. Scott Cookie. Once you do break the 230 kilo log, will you attempt higher? Yes, I actually will. Uh, my plan is to go for 230 next week, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, of course, 231 I think is from the game. Mm. Mm. Well, so is that for you? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it's all about progression. Yes, I will. I, if I hit 230, then I'll have to keep progressing. Um, as big Zedrin as did, you know, he hit 220 and then he you know, carried on progression, so we always will have to do that. Christopher Stockbake, who has the biggest bit? We will measure it and do a YouTube video for you while we measure it. I have the biggest feet. 7616 X ray. Do you think Half Thor is going to be able to lift 501 kilos in me? Uh, yes, very much so. I, I really hope he is. Obviously, Half Thor just announced that him and Kelsey are expecting, so. Massive congratulations. congratulations. That's awesome. So happy for you. Um, and I hope that you do break the deadlift record. That would be incredible. Especially in, in the kind of environment that we're in at the moment. It'd be nice to see someone, you know, with something back. What would you say is the key to avoiding injury? I think actually since we went down to Eddie's, you're right, but drunk. So. Hot and cold. Training smart. Recovery. Have a good physio. Um, Hot and cold tub. Train smart, eat right. Boom. Eat lots of Campbell's meat. One more. So one more. So Connor Cartledge, 98. In all honesty, if you... Smoke grenade! If you and Joby Master were to have an MMA fight, who'd win? It would be a draw. Yeah, I don't fight. I'm a lover, you know? If we had a Joby war, then ho, 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 ho. You're going down, big bro. 
I, if I had a jobby war, I'd do a jobby, put it in the freezer, make it frozen, and then hit you with it. I would have to, if I'd throw mine out the toilet and hit you with it. I bet they're all smushy. Might not be, these are hard. Yeah. These are hard. Hey, but I'd, concrete it, I'd concrete it straight away. 20 fibre in your diet. Yeah. Right, anyway guys, thank you for that question and answer. Thank you for listening, there was a lot of jobbies in there. Yeah, we appreciate it. Um, hope you guys are all being spicy. What's the saying, Tom, you've been saying? Stay spicy, smile, stay safe. Exactly. And the three S's to keep a positive lifestyle in this hard times. Yes. What you said. I think we should go and toast some marshmallows. I don't like marshmallows. Oh, let's go and warm our feet by the fire. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. What else do they do after do? Do they have to do? Swipe up. And ring that bell. Please ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding.